I can't believe this is energy gift number 11. We're nearly at the end of this Christmas series. And as I said uh, yesterday, this is still sharing some powerful energy gifts to support your good health against the coronavirus this Christmas. You know, news reports have taken over in terms of the mutated virus and how, how much stronger it is and how much more likely we are to, to catch it and to suffer. So this is my energy gift to you to bring health and well-being to the important organs that you can boost at home that you can bring your own energetic healing do to to ensure that you're well over the Christmas period so I'm Dr Leonie Morris energy psychologist and energy medicine practitioner please do do follow this series subscribe for the last and final um, energy gift for tomorrow and for more helpful energy tips into the new year so this is all about so this is all about draining um, energetic toxins from your system so we're going to be touching and massaging some really important points that are neurolymphatic reflex points and what that means is that we are stimulating your lymphatic system which is a circulatory system in your body which um, needs to be pumped around using your own energy. It's, we have two circulatory systems. One is the blood, which of course is pumped by your heart. The lymphatic system needs your support to keep it moving. And as I shared yesterday, uh, pathogens, viruses are more likely to take residence in your throat and in your lungs, in your whole you know, body, if the energy is still and stagnant. So this is about shifting stagnant energy, shifting those blocked energies to encourage a good, healthy flow. So yesterday, we got all of the energy flowing in your lungs and stimulated your thymus, which is support the gland that supports your immunity. Today, we are working with our lymphatic system. So it, it's effectively all the scum you see on top of a pond, we are clearing that away. So so if you see this divot here, that's the, the starting point of where we're going to massage today. And I want you to just be massaging along this line here, which is underneath your collarbone, all the way out to the seam of your body. And also we're going to be coming down, making a T-shape. So underneath the collarbone and down the breastbone. So we'll start underneath the collarbone. You can do it both sides at the same time for speed. And we just want to do deep circles, as deep as your body feels is good. We don't want pain. Uh, pain in energy medicine is counterproductive. So do this deeply. It might be a little sore and sensitive. That's okay. Keep going if you feel a sore space, because that simply means your energy is blocked and it needs your help to shift it. So work all the way along underneath that bone. Now I need to do it one at a time because it's easier. <laughs> all the way to the side seam and down following like as if you're where your arm attaches to your body just breathing as we do this and now go back to the other side seam this is a really powerful neurolymphatic point it's the neurolymphatics for your central meridian so it actually encourages flow in a lot of your lymphatic lymphatic system so you already start to feel some heat working across there. Now we're going to come back to either side of our breastbone and between the ribs, just giving a nice, deep, circular massage. And then come down to the next rib. This is really inviting the lymphatic um, system to move for your lungs, for your heart, your respiratory system, just clearing out that energetic debris. I'm going to keep coming down. And I, that's feeling quite sensitive for me. So I, I can tell that there is some stuck energy for me to shift. And now I want to increase the energy that's flowing into this part of our body. And I ask if you just flop your hands forward and backwards, 
and come to the end of your thumb where you'll find a divot. So along your line of your wrist, underneath the thumb bone, just keep going about a centimetre down, you'll find a divot. And I want you to massage that point. So using a couple of fingers, I tend to put two fingers together like that. It puts a lot more energy into the system. This is a, an important point on your lung meridian and massaging this point again, you know, round, around circles, going as deeply as you like. You don't need to move the finger. You're literally moving the skin over the area there. And that's inviting new energy to move into your lungs. So we've got the lymphatic system moving. Now we're pushing more positive energy in to keep that energy flow. And on the same side, we're going to um, find the web between the thumb and, the, and your forefinger. I don't know which right way around to do this. And moving about a centimetre back from the web, so where it's fleshy, just stimulate that point on both sides of your hand. And again, this is actually not on your lung meridian. This is a partner channel, which is your uh, large intestine. This is about elimination. So giving this a deep massage, it's often a very sensitive point. So if it feels sore, be forewarned. It's okay to massage when it's sore. Just go gently and keep going, breathing deeply in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just shake that off. Now we'll do the other side. Again, going back to underneath the thumb where your wrist creases. Put your two fingers together, forefinger and middle finger. Give that a nice deep massage. Get that energy pulsing. You're literally putting an energy pulse into your lung meridian, the channel of energy creating literally creating electricity that moves up your arm into your lung to shift out that stagnant um, lymphatic system that we've already started to shift and the deep breath while we're massaging and now we'll move on to the beyond the web the fleshy part between thumb and forefinger and give that a nice deep massage if going in um, too deeply hurts, keep a, kind of a flat movement if it's too sore. But just again, this is inviting elimination. So all the lymphatics that we've encouraged to shift, this is encouraging the elimination through your bloodstream, through your urine. So it's just keeping the flow of your bodily systems to ensure that the pathogen, a virus is un unable to stick and to settle it's a couple of deep breaths i find that in timing you'll know what feels right for you but two or three deep breaths on each of these points is all you need do it when you're watching tv do it when you get up in the morning a couple of times every day will just ensure that you're keeping yourself virus free pathogen free so thank you so much for listening my energy gift number 11 energy gift number 12 is going to be something special i don't know whether you've had resolutions in the past new year's resolutions it's coming up to that time of year resolutions don't work for a very important reason energetically and i will tell you why so if you're intrigued to find out what you need to be doing instead of resolutions what you need to be doing to sowing the seeds to sow your seeds of change then please tune in subscribe if you don't want to miss out thank you so much for listening take care